Do you guys think there's any benefit to making student films, webcasts, YouTube videos, etc.? Um, does it help you get your foot in the door? I, I think it, it helps to have work that is representative of the type of work that you want to make. Uh, it, it is, uh, I also find though that a lot of students make um, irresponsibly large productions just because they want to make a big production um, and that can be a problem. But at the same time, you ha to, if you want to eventually make big films, you have to make them, you, know, you have to make your student work on a certain scale so that you understand you know, how, how to work with the dollies that, that might be available to you when you're making bigger films or whatnot. And so I think they're very beneficial, but you have to be very careful. And you, I mean, um, you can't uh, just, just try to be as responsible as possible about the money you're actually spending. I, mean, I think it's crucial. Like, I, I just made the, a short, but I, I, I talk about it as my first short, but I had made five sh six shirts before that short, but I, I consider them like exercises, like training, because it, it's, yeah. film is a language, right? And it, unless you're like training, you know, as an, almost like an athlete, mm -hmm. I, it, it's like writing scripts. It's very hard that you write the first script and it's very good. I, it's like, I think it's almost impossible. So it's just, you have to train. So all these films, all these hours that you're gonna spend on set, or the, the hours that you're gonna spend writing or making student films, are going to make your films better, your next films better. So I just think there's really no way around it. Yeah, definitely. I think so too. And the thing that's interesting is that the process is pretty much the same, you know, on your little thing that like you're making on your computer and a full big studio production. It's kind of like the same stuff needs to happen. And when you're doing everything yourself, you realize all the stages and then the bigger the production gets, you're like, okay, so now these people can do that part of it and these people can do that part and these people can do that part, you know, until you're in a full crew situation. But it's, it's all the same work. It's like, you know, you have to prep the same stuff, you have to get your locations, you have to get, make sure you have food, you have to, you know, do all that stuff. And then it's your actors and then it's like when your post, you know, even if the actors are just yourself or whatever. And then you have to like edit it and make sure the sound works. And it's all, it's the exact same process. It's just that it grows. Um, and so I think, like, definitely. 100%. Can I, can I ask though, I mean, do you guys feel like you should make more than one film? Like, I've noticed people banking all on one film, and then there's people who make like a big, a small, medium, and that seem, I don't, they seem to do better, but I don't know what you guys think. Something that is great about Columbia's program um, that was different from my undergraduate program, my undergraduate program, you would, um, in your third year you made a big film and in your last year you made a final big film and what but whereas at Columbia you're making exercises all the time and I, I, I think that's more beneficial it's good to do a lot of that exercising that like a like an athlete or whatever um, because it's just getting your in the mindset of, of how to achieve that yeah totally yeah a lot of it is just like two actors and one like a canon camera and that, like, in a room with your friends, and those are really helpful because you don't spend, like, you're probably just going to buy some bagels from your friend, for your friends or something like that. But you actually learn where to put the camera and if the shots work. So this is, like, this, I, I find this super helpful just to even, you can take your own camera and with, go with your friends and just shoot something. And, the, and you learn so much just from, deciding where to put the camera or trying to direct actors. And there's a, there's a professor, uh, Eric Mendelson, who um, is one of the great uh, directing professors here, um, who, who came from an a, um, art background. And he describes doing these exercises as similar to like sketching out something before you actually paint it. Or, um, you know, it's, it's uh, to be, have the freedom to just sketch something and throw it away is, is, is necessary, especially when, you know, you're trying to do a big production. It's such a, a lot of pressure to try to, to get things right, and you're not really able to experiment as you might um, if there aren't any consequences. So it helps to make a lot of small things. At the same time, though, again, it, it, there's a certain level of production if, if you're trying to make big, big films that you're not really going to learn unless you go all the way. So at, at a certain point, you have to kind of do a full-on production, I would say, well, at least one. I'm interested in your, how different, let's see, for the experience of, let's say, having like 
a 12 person crew and you're trying to make a short over four days, you know, something that like that compared to your experience of like, a, you know, whatever, the full crew, a well, 200 person crew. I, I had come from do, making somewhat big shorts and I was a cinematographer as well. So I was making shorts and, and, um, and working as a cinematographer on features where we had a fairly big crews, pretty much the same size as what I had in this feature. but. Uh, um, time, time is, is really incredibly valuable when you're working on a smaller scale. Um, you're allowed to just take more of your time and if you can scale down your production, it, it, it can help you to, uh, to and, you know, allow you more freedom to work with the actors more, to get the shots right actually and, um, and all that. I mean, the, the trickier thing uh, regarding that Last film would just had more to do with the, the apparatus surrounding it and all of like the conflicting viewpoints of what type of film should be made. Um, it's you know so it helps to keep things small or just surround yourself with people who you really have come to uh, you know a, an agreement or, or you know uh, not necessarily agreement but finding people who have the same kind of viewpoints that you have on on uh, the films that you're going to make because it's hard to hard to convince someone of you know, something that might seem completely counterintuitive uh, if you don't have the same tastes at all uh, down the road.